Hey Leos, welcome back to Deku Tarot. Welcome to your mid-September 2020 reading. It's so good to be back, guys. I've missed you. Um, I do apologize that it's late, and I do apologize that we're not going to see my face in this video. But I just wanted to focus on what comes up on the cards, and let's just get right into this using the Gustav Klimt deck, actually, because I've just really missed reading for you guys, and I feel you guys have some things that really want to come out. I was going to do Sagittarius, and then Cancer, and some other signs, and you towards the end, and it just like, it was like, no, it's time for Leos. <laughs> we need some direction here, it feels. And I'm doing this actually on the day that Jupiter turns direct in Capricorn. So Jupiter, the good luck planet governing prosperity, optimism, belief systems, and Capricorn. Um, the sign representing government, traditions, business. Um, all this is going to make a turning. It's going to start changing. It's going to be a turning point, especially in terms of the way I think we see... Our government's acting, the actions that they're taking. I think that while it was retrograde, we saw a lot of areas that really needed to be fixed that had been so ingrained, um, these systems that were so detrimental yet so ingrained into really the world we live in finally be really put up front and center. And now is the time as it turns direct for things to start moving forward, for changes to be enacted. And for the world to seek a turning point in really, um, I think, these huge systems of belief, these huge systems of government. So we'll see about that. And I think that that's just a very prevalent feeling for all of us. Although I would check, you know, where all that is in your chart as well. Mars and Aries is already retrograde. Bringing energy to a lower level. Turning the pressure inward on ourselves. We're going to have a lot less energy. We're going to see how all these other astrological, you know, little moments here are going to be playing out in your reading. But I'm just going to start letting the cards come out because I feel like something's going to come out here. I also feel like we really need to talk about career. I feel like that's on the mind for you guys. As soon as I stepped into your energy, I was like, you guys have had some real frustrations there where you know your worth and you know what you want to be doing and it feels very frustrated that whoever you've been working for, whatever your career money situation has been, you have not been seeing what you know you deserve in terms of money, in terms of appreciation. Things have not changed and it's very frustrating. You don't feel you get the respect that you deserve. You don't feel that you're getting the jobs, the work that... Um, you really want and if you have a boss right now it just feels i don't know i'm just getting a really strong feeling that it's been really frustrating with them what they've expected has been just messy and confusing and it just feels like you have not been able to work with them there's been this inability to really build a foundation and it's been so difficult like we can't work together on this if you're making this so hard it's really hard in terms of career right now to be working with others for you guys. The communication is just, it's difficult. The expectations are not set, not settled really, it feels like. And there's a real disparity in terms of the respect we feel we're not being given here and what we know we deserve. I'm saying this based on cards and feelings that I got before actually I actually even started this reading. But I know that we needed to talk about that a bit before we got into it here. So again, this is going to be for the rest of September. It's been, yeah, there's a lot of frustration in letting go of something that it's like, well, I don't know if I can let go of this right now. What happens if, you know, I move on from this position? If I let these people go, if I decide to go out and strike out on my own right now, is this a good time? I don't think so. I'm not saying that from my perspective. I'm saying that from yours. Um, it's like there's a real juggling here in holding on to the unfortunate thing that we have to deal with, a career person. Something in terms, it just feels like something in terms of career and work that we're just, again, really not happy with. And trying to make something that we really want to make work, something that makes us really happy, something that we enjoy, something 
again, that's just fun or working with people that you really enjoy. Like there's a disparity between what we want in terms of work and what we have currently. And it's just huge. that's always a good sign right success even if we don't feel successful right now I want you guys to know that you're Leo's and you're always successful you're doing fine nobody sees you as negatively as you think that they do and you might feel very like, uh, like your boundaries are being pushed and you're kind of having to fight up against things and you're having to deal with things in ways that, you know, we didn't have to before. It's like very, it's a very tense atmosphere and we could feel very attacked and like we must defend ourselves and our principles constantly. We want success and yet we feel so <laughs> put up against it. It's really difficult. And as we enter Libra season, I think things are going to move forward a bit smoother over the next two months. Even though the rest of this month, yeah, it does feel a bit difficult. It feels like we need to kind of make a plan here in Virgo season. I mean, of course, it's time to make a plan. It's time to make a list. What do we really want in a job? Well, how do we want to feel in terms of a career path? I know that I'm very focused upon this, but it doesn't have to be just about this. It's all the other things that come off of that, where we live, how we're living, the people we're surrounding ourselves with. These have really been up in the air and put up as a question for you over the past, I feel like, two years. It's been shifting and changing, and how we relate to people and what we accept has been shifting and changing. Because we realize a lot of people use us for their own gains, for their own comfort, for their own reasons, without really appreciating us as for who we are and what we bring to the table. And I've seen that a lot in your friendships, a lot in the people around you guys. Having better, stronger relationships. There's a real empowered feeling to you guys this month of, I know I deserve more and so I will work for more i will reach out for more i will stand up and i will tell you i will find the way here when you guys hit libra season things are going to get smoother you'll find that you do actually have the power virgo season might feel really confusing right now it might have you feeling really dissatisfied frustrated with work but it's forcing you to face that and to plan for the future and if you are able to you know again fight for your boundaries make sure people know what you deserve where you're being put up against, you know, push back. So you have the six and then the seven of wands. Success is there, but of course, you have to fight for it. You have to stand up for yourself. You have to go for whatever it is that is success, that is happiness to you. Because obviously, that's juggling at this moment. Where it feels like we're very, eh, like neither here nor there about it. But when you get to that Libra season and it feels like that Virgo new moon that we're going to have right before that. I believe on the 17th. That's when we're really going to be able to make that plan, to set that into action, to say, okay, now that I realize all this and I've been really thinking about it and it's been on my mind and I've been trying to, you know, place what I need to do and why I feel this way, all those things that, all those analytical things that happen during Virgo season that I have to do again with, you know, second house stuff for most of you guys with career and life path and, you know, how does that all, you know, where are we going? <laughs> where are we going with all that professional stuff here with our money, with our with whatever it is we want to build. And Leo's, you know, you guys like to have a nice life. We want to have the money. We want to be able to go out. We want to be able to eat the good food, to see the friends, to enjoy ourselves, of course. And what are we going to do to fight for that? Because right now we definitely don't have that. And there hasn't been change. There hasn't been a confrontation of why we're accepting this. Um, why we feel we need to stay in this for whatever reason at this point. When we can't really even seem to build any, like there's no roots being taken, you know, the roots aren't taking is what it feels like to me. And yet we're still juggling it. Waiting for some other opportunity to roll in. But what this tells me is that there's the opportunity doesn't just roll in. It has to be brought upon by you. Of course, you've got to work for that success. You know you have the success. So why don't you just reach out for it? Go for that thing that you want. 
stop pretending like there's any box that fits that's going to hold us in. And again, I feel like that Virgo new moon is kind of where we start to see that, where we're like, okay, now I have a plan. I'm going to start taking action. And you will start to see things happen because you saw this, because you knew, you knew this wasn't going to work out. You knew that there was something better and you trusted that. And then you decided to go for it. You decided to stand up for yourself, make the necessary changes here that you needed to, to get to a better, more comfortable, more in control and again respected place in terms of career in terms of work where you feel like you are appreciated where you're strong where you're doing what you want to do with who you want to do it with and that can change i mean this is beautiful and like i don't really feel like there's a lot much else to say to you guys the rest of this month because this is a major focus and a major and when you guys focus on something it, it takes like it's all of you you throw yourselves into it and so i feel like that's going to be really important in terms of relationship let's just talk a little bit about that so i know that that's also on the mind and in a really nice way if you have been you know you're in a new relationship i feel like it's been blossoming and communicate yeah we're really seeing eye to eye and when we get to libra season there's a real us rather than you and me and we're working for each other to try to get to that point. There's more of an us when we get to Libra season and seeing eye to eye, really knowing each other and not being afraid to speak our truths, to work with each other. Reciprocal. Don't work for crumbs anymore. We're not going to do that. But we want a relationship we're going to be vocal about. When we give, we do expect something in return and we will get it. And if we don't feel we're getting it, then let's have a conversation. You guys aren't afraid anymore. And it's beautiful. Like there's a real oomph in your energy right now. That's like, you know, as we go from Virgo and into Libra season, like I know who I am and I know what I deserve. And that's that. Okay. And I'm not going to accept anything less. And if you have a problem with that, then bye. So it's really, <laughs> it's really great energy for you guys right now. Let's pull an Oracle because... Here we've reached the end of it. Leo's, Leo's, Leo's. And if you want to book a private reading, guys, all my private readings are open. You can book them with all the information below. I will be changing up my um, reading menu soon. So, um, you know, take advantage of it right now. We get Harmony. Beautiful, right? Harmony lives in the lodge of balance and involves equilibrium between the physical and spiritual aspects of your life. For, for there to be harmony, there must be balance. Imagine yourself as the hub of a sacred wheel standing in the center. This wheel must function every day of your life. If you imagine that the south is your physical self, the west your emotional self, the north your spiritual self, and the east your mental self, you see that you stand in an ancient wheel of truth. Consider whether you spend as much time in the physical south as you do in the spiritual north. Are they balanced? Are they in harmony? Reflect on whether you spend more time in your emotions west than you do in your mind east. Adjust your daily life by being aware of your actions and behavior patterns to incorporate equal effort in all directions so that your wheel will function in perfect harmony. Beautiful messages, guys. I love you so much, my lovely Leos. Again, if you want to book a private reading, all that info is below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Make sure to share the video if you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful and blessed rest of September. Let me know in the comments um, how it resonated. I love hearing from you guys. Let me know any other types of videos you'd like me to do, even if they're outside of tarot. I love to see suggestions. Um, and hopefully I'll have time to do some more stuff in the next coming months. So um, anyways, it's lovely to be back. Miss you guys. Hope you have a wonderful and blessed rest of September. Namaste.